everybody. Just gonna shoot this random video as I'm scrapping out some some dead laptops. On the right hand side we have a um, dead motherboard that's an AMD APU based board. When you plug in power to it, you just get light, but it doesn't power on. On this one here, this is an Intel based board. Both of these are out of HP computers. This is out of a G4. This is out of a ProBook. This one here is an Intel Core i3. And I don't know too much about Intel's mobile platform, but I want to say this is probably a Nehalem. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I just got this thing today, and it's a Core i3. I remember a few years ago, I made a video doing a fan replacement in an HP, um, I think it was a G7 II. And I refer to the chip as an APU. Which, Intel doesn't actually refer to the chip as an APU, but... I just want to show you guys something in regards to the design and the technology. Here we have an actual AMD APU. APU based systems do not have a NOR bridge. The NOR bridge is on the actual processor or the APU itself. APU stands for Advanced Processing Unit and AMD uses this term all the time. I don't even think Intel does but it's practically the same technology. If you have a look here I'm going to rip this off so you can see a little better you can see there's no NOR bridge on this motherboard. There's a south bridge over there you got your APU here and this heat pipe to run to the cooling fans. The same goes for the Intel one. You have your Intel processor or if you want to call it an APU whatever here. You got this heat pipe, no nor bridge. Here's your cooling fans. There's a south bridge over there. So let's go ahead and take the heat sinks off of these. Well the coolers rather. Now mind you guys, my um, my tabletop tripod has broken after many, many years of service. So I'm having to do one hand on the screwdriver and one hand with the camera tonight. And buddy, let me tell you, I have been crazy, crazy busy. So many projects going on in computers and for service is crazy. On top of working 30 hours a week. Let's get this out of here. Is our APU? It's an A6-3400M series. I think it's a quad core. Now for the Intel. It's a Core i3, as I mentioned. I say it's a shame this board here didn't work. I spent thirty dollars on the computer at the uh, grid store, which, yes, guys, I did not do a video of. Apologize about that. Wasn't too special. You know, both of these systems were about the same time period. They have, you know, DDR3 memory. You know, things like that. And here's the Intel. See, there you go. They don't really tell you much here. It's just like a serial number or whatever. Well, that's a Core i3. Let's see. SR0N1. Let's look up that SPEC number. That chip is an Intel Core i3 3110M. It's a 2.4 GHz processor. It is the socket G2. Ivy Bridge. It's an Ivy Bridge. So it's actually newer than the Nehalem. Yeah, the Nehalem does look a little bit different. It draws roughly, yes, a 35 watt TDP chip. And let's see. Integrated graphics controller runs at 650 megahertz. Yep, it has built in graphics, which practically makes it an, you know, the equivalent of an AMD APU. Obviously, the APUs from AMD have the processor and graphics all in one. This is the same technology basically from Intel. You have 3110, 2.4 GHz. It's a, it's a dual core with hyper threading. So it has four logical cores. So yeah. 
you guys can probably tell, I don't, I don't really deal with Intel that much. But you know, I figured I'd make this quick little video here. You know, it's pretty interesting for some of you guys out there who may um, hear me say Intel APU. That's not an APU. Well, it's practically the same thing as what AMD has here. Your Northridge graphics and processor are all in one chip. You know, I like this design. Um, the reason why I like it so much is, for one thing, it's integrating a lot of components into one you know device, and it eliminates the common issue with many laptop motherboards of having the Northridge chip overheat and fail, causing motherboard failure. Now, <laughs> as you can see, that doesn't mean your motherboard is never going to fail. But I can say I see a lot less of these failing versus like the AMD socket S1 systems with the Northridge. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this random video and the question comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.